a spring game or a winter wonderland? I don't know about this one, Coach. We might have to play in the indoor. <laughs> but, but other than that, it, it was nice. I, know, I hope the pitchers came out well. I hope the film came out well. <laughs> That's how you say. That's how you say. He's my young. But this my other than right that, here, I like, I like playing. It wasn't, it wasn't that cold for me. He so. care about them pitchers. <laughs> it I, wasn't. Need, I need my pitchers, too. Let's go. Let's go. So I'm thinking recruiting. You know, I'm thinking, OK, national TV is showing snow in the spring. That's not good. But you know. But everybody, people use that recruit against us, but with the fan base and everybody that was there, I'm pretty sure they said, hey man, this is all right. Love you. The April dusting didn't deter the biggest party in Boulder from debuting without a hitch. Phenomenal. I'm amazed and just stoked, if that's the proper word, about the attendance and about the energy and electricity and even all of you. I'm, I'm so thankful that God led me in this direction. The sold out 47,000 fans were brought to their feet when 98 year old Peggy Copham was named honorary captain and then gave a rousing ovation when she made the highlight of the game. Peggy Ball. Peggy was the MVP of the game. Uh, she was quick. Her first step was unbelievable. Uh, she was very physical when she grabbed me and made sure I held her arm. Um, Timely, she made a big play, and uh, her kickoff was phenomenal. There were a few other phenomenal plays between the lines, namely from his own son, Shador Sanders, who threw two Shador touchdowns Sanders. and ran one in himself. I had a couple years under my belt now, so I know exactly what I want, and I know how to get uh, the best out of guys. Like, each receiver is different uh, for me. I know what's going to make Travis play his best. I know what's going to make Montana play his best, and, of course, Jimmy and Caleb and everybody like that. But now we know exactly what we want, and I'm able to really like step up and lead us in the right direction. The excitement didn't stop on the field. The spring game almost doubled as a homecoming event for alumni, most notably the ones who left quite a legacy for the Buffs program. Uh, it feels like um, we've been welcomed back to the university in a, in a different way than we ever have been, and I think uh, when you look at the uh, collection of guys that we have here, it just shows you the excitement. Uh, about being back around the program in a meaningful way. Excited for some football? Here we go. Go Bucks. Never seen this type of energy. This is the spring game, remember? Like, this is a scrimmage. Like, it's unbelievable. So, you know, I think Prime has exceeded everybody's expectations. How you doing? Doing good. You know, it's crazy to see something like this, but this is the one guy that can do it. And we needed it. And so, like I said, at Buff Nation, we're, we're coming. We're excited. Legendary Colorado Buffalo. I just want to rekindle the, the, the fire and the passion that they had for the university, and let's keep it going. Because the more those guys are around, I'm happy. And if these alumni and a sold-out fan base can watch their offense score an effortless 98-yard touchdown this fall, they will be happy too. In Boulder, Ariel Orsuda, 9 News.